Double Dragon. It's your boy Amen. It's like it. Back with some new heat for y'all today. Now we here again with some old disrespectful moments. Facts. From Part the boy two. CJ. What's good, man? What's good with y'all, man? Yeah. We want to say thanks for making the video. You know what I'm saying? You make some pretty dope content. Facts. Uh, the first video was hilarious. The man, shovel. That shovel was man, great. Man brought a shovel. I like the commentary you put on yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be in there. Yeah. I didn't expect that. Yeah, that was dope. I did not expect the commentary. Commentary is hilarious, man. Which would you say was your favorite out of the last uh, video? Uh, probably uh the bleach one. The bleach one, the one I didn't see. Yeah, that's crazy. Funny that you picked that one. I can't even compare or, or, or talk about it. Uh, which one was yours? The shovel? I'll say it was the uh the Midoriya one, like the slap. God is ass. God damn. That one was funny when he slapped. Oh, he's talking about uh Meliodas. He's like, huh, <laughs> and he just smacked him all over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Meliodas. Mm -hmm. What I say? <laughs> What? My man said Midoriya. He called him man Deku. I said Midoriya. <laughs> I, I'm telling y'all, my dementia is, is, is kicking in. I don't oh, even know what man. I say these days. I'm probably be like, <laughs> say my pin number. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? Right. Uh, my dementia kicking in, man. That was not. God damn. That was not. Weird, but man. yeah, man, we watched part one. So this is part two. So yeah. Decided to get into it. We had one of our mods check it out to make sure it wasn't no spoilers. And they said this was all Baki stuff. So I think we pretty good on this. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to get to it, man. Let's run it up. All right. That dude is not 15 years old, man. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back. A lot of people, a lot of people recommended this. God damn. Hey, go Gogeta. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history. Too. Now you see this one is gonna be a little different. So usually we would have multiple characters. But today I saw something grab something. On I'm not gonna character. remember this. Now, I know some of y'all are probably wondering, CJ, why are you only focusing on one character in this bit? Well, uh, how do I put this? The man that we are about to talk about might damn well be the most disrespectful man in anime. <laughs> he gave a do for mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. Yujiro Hanma is a walking black air force. Like, dog, this nigga's on duty. I'm walking the black air force. <laughs> <laughs> bitches are beating the fuck out of his own son. Nigga out here fighting a polar bear for fun. Like, this man's nickname is the strongest creature on earth. Peep how they said. That's Baki dad. You ever seen Baki? I probably saw one episode when we watched. A jawline gifted from Jesus himself. His back is a literal second torso. You got a six pack on your back, nigga. Yeah, I understand why they call I ain't seen that. Like, if you get compared to Bigfoot's fat ass, you you use literally just I don't know, nigga. You just built different on oh, some freaky ass shit. Oh, <coughs> I hear some of y'all already typing in the comment section right now. Hey, hey, yo, CJ, why that nigga not at the round table yet, cuz? Listen, 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 listen. I know Yujiro has been the most requested person to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity, besides like guts. Well, you wanna know why it took me so long to do this? Because you see, this man has done so much heinous ass shit that I cannot give him a regular trial. Like dead ass, I was run out of exhibits. <laughs> so I was like, all right, bro. I'm just gonna have to give him a whole most disrespectful moments in anime history. That his own video <laughs> <laughs> in his own special. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot, bro. Like, I'm probably not even gonna be able to add everything on here. So anything I leave off, just tell me and I'ma just put them in other parts. So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, lace up your black ones and uh... The black ones was torched. So to understand the philosophy of Yujiro Hanma's disrespectful ways, we have to go all the way back. So far back, the main character ain't even born yet. I'm talking about 1973 in the Vietnam War. This man was fighting in a whole ass war with his bare hands at the age of 16. Nigga, this is like the equivalent of running around in war zone with your bare fist and just beating the shit out of you. I'm mad at you. Me, me, me. me. Like, so while he's in Vietnam, Somebody like that. Oh, wow. She's trying to throw that ass back. She's like Sonya. 
hell out of this man. She like, you want to get laid, nigga? Oh, you scared? Or maybe you still haven't experienced a woman yet. And look at this man. He like, uh, bitch, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> he's around there and walks away, bruh. Man, it's like, I'm not about this bullshit today. But she still keep on running her mouth and talking shit. So the moment she turned around, this man Yujiro came right behind her back and said, Shall I tear your skull out right here? Homie was dead ass about to peel the skin off of this bitch. And look at her, she like, Damn, this nigga got two fingers in my mouth. Then this bitch hip <laughs> slaps her like 20 yards. <laughs> Why land you like that, though? Walked out into the sunset. But nah, you thought this man was done in Vietnam? Nah, he was just getting started. This man goes on to kill a whole ass general on some Cobra Ops type shit. And to disguise himself so he could enter the base, he ripped off the general's face and used it as a mask. So then this man just runs what? wild, just beating the shit out of him. Killing every single person in his path, busting through ceilings and shit. So then Jane pops back up and she's like, listen nigga, I got some TNT and I'm about to blow this bitch sky high. So while they're escaping, Yujiro stops. They're partners now. Nigga, why you stop? And he just stands there and just eats the entire explosion. Then he pissed slaps old girl again. And he figures out that she's a whole ass UN agent named Diane that's leading him into a whole trap. So she tried to kill him, but obviously, uh, that ain't gonna work, honey. So how did he make her pay for this? Uh, well, he gave her that redo of the healer treatment. So after he gives her the googlies, this man uses her as a body shield, then just kills everybody outside and breaks this nigga's neck with one. Golly, Hanma! That gun for trying to kill him again. Then this man flashed the whole demon back at her and just look at her face, bruh. Just in pure shock. She like, damn. I'm really about to have that nigga's kid. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how Jack Hanma was born. Oh, but guess what? That was just the first son. Shit, we gotta go over how the main character was born. <clears throat> Meet Emmy, Baki's crazy ass, weird ass mom. Like for a Lanko okay, this bitch is weird as hell. But ladies and gentlemen, she always wasn't a crazy Kiss your mom on the lips. No, no, you no. see, no. back in the day, she was in a very happy relationship with a rich nigga. She was enjoying her life on a honeymoon. So then that night, they go to a party, right? And guess who's there? Yujiro, staring her ass. <laughs> 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 Debo, fam. You got Debo in this. But she is hey. mesmerized. It's like he's dicking her down with just his eyes. It's a hunter, hunter, OST. Just straight yep. up staring at him. And then he just slaps her ass. God damn, in front of the party, nigga? So then this man confronts Yujiro and he's talking mad shit. Niggas like, your fashion sense, ass. Your cut, ass. Your shoes, ass. Your demeanor, ass. Then he just throws a whole plate of soup on my nigga. So Yujiro's like, oh, you want to get disrespectful? All right, I can get real disrespectful real quick. So he just leans in and kisses his wife. So homie gets mad and he's like, all right, bro, I'm gonna let this dude handle you. But we all know th this nigga ain't gonna do shit. So Yujiro just gives him the nastiest axe kick and just drills his face into the ground. Just completely one shot at homie. Embarrassing old dude even more and giving his wife the old giddy giddies. So then this man goes back to his hotel all mad and shit because he got made to look like a whole ass beta male in front of his wife. So then he's trying to take out his anger on his wife and shit. But this man Yujiro pulls up in the hotel room. Just what? Out of nowhere. Man is like, hey girl, I came to see you. I came to see you. Oh, oh Lord. So then dude runs over to the phone all scared and shit like, hey yo, security, where the fuck y'all niggas at? Somebody hey, you can't do nothing. Uh, uh, security. <laughs> The fuck out. So old dude pulls a gun on him, but we all know what happens when you try to pull a gun on this nigga. He grabs him with one hand and breaks his neck while still flirting at the same time. And look at her, she liked that. Oh, she a freak. So then he like, listen, girl, let me give you this sweet talk real quick. I want to break your back so goddamn hard. <laughs> I might even break your back so goddamn hard. I might even kill you one day. Give birth to my child so I can have a worthy opponent in the future. And yeah, uh. That's how Baki was born. So when Yujiro first makes his first appearance in the anime, this man is jumping out of a whole ass helicopter and just blasts himself into a room, not giving a fuck about property damage at all. So it comes in when Baki was fighting Hanayama. And look at him, bro, with a whole smile on his face. He's like, what's good, nigga? Homie deadass said, good, I made it in time. Looks like you just got started. Y'all niggas only got scratches right now. And the fight is already over. But this man Yujiro's like, nigga, if I don't see blood, the shit didn't even start. <laughs> tells Baki, nigga, you Soft. And he's just laughing his ass off. So then Hanayama's like, all right, bro, I'll fight.
fight you. But my, my nigga, you shouldn't have said that shit. Cause boy, that ass was good. <laughs> Man, literally picked up the <laughs> sound and effect, bro. And threw him across the floor. Golly. To the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back. Literally spazzed his whole body out. So before he leaves, he picks up Hanayama again. And he's like, let me get in one last lick. Then he punches his whole face and finish the job that he already finished. Then he's like, this was a waste of time. Y'all niggas are sorry. I'm leaving. <laughs> This man is actually built different. So then he goes see Emmy's crazy ass. This man got a whole he like arc fam. Then he, <laughs> <laughs> he just pushes him down and he's like, oh, I told you to raise my son to be strong as hell. That nigga weak as fuck. So then she tried to shake him, but he was like, cut that shit out. Yo, this man is like completely ruined her mind. Like he must have blasted her brains out of something. So after all that goes down, Baki's like, all right, bro, I gotta fight my dad at this point. So the night before the fight, Emmy's like, shit, let me go see what that nigga Ujiro doing real quick. So she's watching this man train in the hotel room, right? So she's like, mm, let me touch up on that nigga. Then he just grabs her whole face and just pushes her back. Look at this nigga. He's like, bitch, the fuck? Don't approach me until I tell you to approach me. You better hope to God Baki can fight me tomorrow or else your ass is <laughs> This is crazy, so bro. Like, I'm you wanna fight me tomorrow? So he said, nah, this bitch, crazy. get the fuck out. Look at her. This nigga Yujiro has absolutely broken her mind at this point. This shit just starts beating up on Baki like, why won't he love me? Oh my god. I told y'all this bitch was weird. What type of story is this? Because her husband won't love her. <laughs> shit. My boy Baki got the most fucked up family I've ever seen. That's and crazy, bro. Dysfunctional at this point. The Hanmas, the Mishimas, or the Skywalkers. So then Baki and Yujiro <laughs> Skywalkers. Fight. Dear God, bro, this was the worst ass whooping I've probably ever seen. This man was literally eating every single punch he threw at him. Not even moving a muscle. And while he's just standing there, he's literally you got small to everybody for thank you for raising him like this, guys. Y'all actually made him kind of strong. So then this nigga's like, all right, bro, it's time to eat. So then he just starts wailing. Ah, him. my key. His face into the ground over and over and over, constantly just beating the hell out of him. Everybody's just watching this like. <laughs> <laughs> and then the mom's like, all right, I've been being weird as the whole time. This nigga's beating the fuck out of my son. So then she started trying to swing on Yujiro, but dear God, baby girl. So she started biting him and shit. So then Yujiro. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. He's like, remember when I told you that one day I might break your back so goddamn hard it might even kill you? Today's the day, bitch. Dang, bear come to the death. On top of and fell on Baki. His wife. Beat the hell out of his son in one night. Yo, oh, this dude is crazy. Have fun too. He just starts beating the hell out of him. No, 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 stop this man. Who gonna stop him? Jiro just goes around. Yo. Daily life, doing his daily activities, just disrespecting people. Homie went up into a. This is why people can't be powerful, man. Shit around, literally slapping this man's punches away. Close his ass down and just beats everybody up at the gym. Busted up into the prime minister's office, literally beat the brakes off of his entire security. And while he was doing this, he took a break and smoked a cigarette. Like, look at them, bro. They surrounded him with riot shields and everything and couldn't do shit. Right nigga just hit the dash, breaks both of them. Busts into his office and he's like, hey, nigga, your security is ass. And also, fuck your dick. And then we go into the next arc and my guy Baki's like, bro, I gotta get revenge for this dude killing my mom. So when Yujiro's confront Jack, he's like, hey, nigga, you kind of strong. Now fight me, nigga. But then Baki comes in and he intervenes. So then Yujiro's like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck up, <laughs> soft ass connections, nigga. And also on the same arc, he fights Dopo, reveals his 1% body fat demon bag, beats the living piss out of him, also taking the nigga's eye and knocks him out standing up. So after all that goes down, The sound go up? Sound Yeah. That must have been a video. Yeah. That little nigga flying. Then he busts up at Baki's house and he's like, Hey, nigga, I see you about to do hey, it with yo, your girl and shit. Okay. Hey, he he can't even get it in. Like, get hey, out of here, bro. Cock block. This man is literally standing over them while him and his girl are about to get it on. And he is dead ass encouraging them to do this shit. He's like, Yes, Baki, blow her back out. Blow her back out. <laughs> mother. It'll make you stronger than ever. And I'm just watching that shit like, did this nigga just really encourage his son to beat the fuck out of her cheeks? Because it'll make him stronger? What in the hell? Then Baki's like, bruh, why are you in here, nigga? And yo, this man dead ass says this. You're pretty funny, you know that, kid? A girl sneaks into your room, comes on to you, and you tremble with fear. If that's your idea of closing the deal, I'll never be a granddad. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, 
Brody is coming to my man's life. I give you my blessing, then just leave. So then we come to this fight with Multi Bay and Yannick. Now, Multi Bay has won the fight. He cut off old poison dude's hand and is like, hey, nigga, that's a rap. Concede. Nigga, you lost. So then just out of the blue, this nigga Yujiro just comes out of nowhere. He's like, hey, nigga, what's cracking? So this man pulls his sword on him like he gonna do something. But then this man Yujiro does the most demoralizing thing I've ever seen in an anime. He started laughing, grabbed his sword, and started breaking it into pieces one by one slowly. That's crazy. This is just the face of a uh, nigga. I'm fucked. I dropped so in What you talking about? <laughs> that is like the biggest you ain't shit thing that you could ever do to somebody. So then this man Yujiro pulls up on Yanagi and he's like, hey, nigga. You lost. So then Shibukawa pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, what the fuck are y'all doing out here? It's late as hell. Then Yujiro's like, shit, nigga, you right. I'm tired. I'm going home. But not at the moment. Got your stupid ass. Yo, he just blasted Dang. his face. Oh, knocked the f*** out and just tooted it up. Nigga, dead ass said, you didn't lose. So that meant you were up for my challenge. Man literally had to get in one lick before he left. So then we get to the right tie tournament. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Ooh, have <laughs> this man steady got. I see how much content this man got. Yeah. God damn. He literally dug his fingers into his fucking face and flung that shit into the Bro, no. Then he threw his face into the crowd. Oh my God. Disgusting. But after that, homie comes yeah. around too, but nigga, why would you come yeah. around two against this nigga? And then you do a just blast the kick at the job. I mean, the job was already finished, but shit, he had to finish it again. So then he sees Baki backstage and he's like, Dad, I think I could take you now. <laughs> this man, Yujiro, was looking at him like, Really, nigga? Just throws him through the wall. Man was like, You ain't shit and you still ain't shit. <laughs> So then he fights the old OG for the last fight. And I ain't gonna lie, old OG was landing some punches. Mm -hmm. But this nigga Yujiro did not care that he was beating. Bro, he about to break this man in half. Oh, they missed. I mean, even though that the senior citizen dropped him. Homie pulled out that demon back, and there he got it was a wrap. Made the motherfucker kick the bucket in the middle of the fight. Somehow that man came back to life. I don't know if they got the Dragon Balls or some shit, but that's one lucky ass OG, I'll tell you that. Well, uh. I guess all the evidence just goes ahead and uh, just proves it that uh, my man Yujiro has finally entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like, I think it might be safe to say that this man might be the most disrespectful man in anime history. I mean, he don't care if you man, a woman, child, or senior citizen. He beating the shit <laughs> out of your ass. He's he bopping everybody. He's ready to eat for everyone. So yes, he is finally in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Ugh, yo, this video damn near took forever to make. So yeah, uh, that's the most disrespectful moments in anime history too, the Yujiro Hanma special. This man is a certified walking black air force. So yeah, uh, that's it, and uh, I'm out this hoe. Chica. Oh, man. Yeah. Yujiro. I agree. That's just crazy. Black force energy. That is crazy. I only seen a little bit of Bucky. So like watching this was kind of like a summary in a sense. Yeah. Of like his whole, he went back to the, now the war, fighting, how he had his kids, his fights. It's like a strong freaking villain that he can't never get rid of. He's just too freaking strong. Who mopping this man, bro? And and like, you'll probably be watching this and be like, okay, Bucky got stronger now. And then he, and he just throwing out the, like that. Like, like, come on, bro. I thought yeah. we passed this, bro. <laughs> That dude is, it, it ain't not a, it ain't not an age he didn't mop. Yeah. He literally was mopping everybody. He did. Taking people's faces off more than once. Yeah, how about this dude's crazy, bro. This dude's wild, bro. He got anger problems, bro. And then people need to be locked up forever. What'd you do if you seen, if you seen him? Like just walking around. Walk the other way. Like I ain't about to <laughs> deal with this crazy dude. <laughs> like your mama right there, right? So he smacked your mama on the booty. What you doing? You ain't feel nothing, mom. <laughs> mom, why you out here playing with me? Come on, you gotta go. You ain't feel nothing. I feel like guns ain't even gonna work good. Heck no. Guns ain't gonna work. Rock a lot ain't gonna work. I don't know what you gonna do. I'm just gonna walk another way. You know, you see somebody down the street. Yeah. <laughs> that was wild, bro. Nah, no man. thanks. No thanks. Fire video, man. DJ, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for the summary also. And uh, yeah, this, this dude is definitely 
deserving to be at that round table. Black Air Force energy, bro. Yeah, he he definitely deserved his own special, man. I can't I can't wait to see who's gonna be in part three. Facts, man. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all check our videos out on YouTube, man. Big facts, double dragon out. Peace. Deuces.